headquarters here at Comic Con, and we were sitting down with the cast from Castle Rock, Jane, Melanie, Bill, and the one and only Sissy. <laughs> uh, I want to ask you this. This is a Stephen King project, and someone has called it the ultimate love letter of Stephen King. Why? <laughs> and we're going to figure that out today. No, it's, Stephen King is the king of horror, mm -hmm. and he sprinkles it with humor and uh, pathos. Mm. Yeah. Pathos. Mm. Anyway. No, there, there, yeah, I mean, it's, it, it, you know, Sam and Dusty, who created the show, wrote it. They're, you know, they're the huge, biggest uh, Stephen King fans, and they wanted to sort of honor the legacy of Stephen King by taking all of, you know, uh, combining his, 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 his work and uh, making something original out of that. So it's, uh, the, whole, the whole show is an homage to, to, to his work, I think. Yeah. How, how has it been back with Stephen? Because you, I mean, you worked with him on, of course, Carrie. So what's it like now and what's the difference? I owe Stephen King a lot. Do you? And yes, because really Carrie was the first film of mine that anybody went to see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, it's wonderful being back in the Stephen King universe because I got to be there with these guys. Yeah, what was it like? What was the feel on the set? Because the show feels spooky. What was it like? Well, we shot in New England in a town in Massachusetts, pretending to be Maine. And I'm from California where things are not very old, but where we were shooting, like, houses are 300 years old, the Revolutionary War took place there. I felt like actual spooky vibes from the town. Mm. And, and I, and the, didn't and you go to like a, haunt, like a tour, haunted house tour or something? I didn't go to a haunted house tour, but I went to a tour of like historical houses oh, in the historical. neighborhood. Where like, but they're all haunted. Who happened to be they're haunted. They're definitely all haunted. Yeah. haunted. Did they feel spooky? Well, the houses? this one hotel that we would go to sometimes that had this cool like back... Colonial Inn. Yeah, yeah, the Colonial Inn. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're, yeah, they're, they're glad you just called yeah. them out. They're happy now. They, it's a great place. They advertise the fact that it's haunted. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. They, it was like an infirmary during the Revolutionary War, I think, at some point. Yeah. Mm. It's really haunted. It's a great place. It's a lot of fun. But it's funny, because New England really is, like, uh, I hadn't spent much of any, or apparently any time there at all, and we got to spend the whole fall there. And, like, the fall in New England is incredible. Oh, it's beautiful. It's like, but it does have this. It's like, so in the mornings, you drive, and, uh, you know, uh, the trees are all bright orange, and every morning was like this fog because it was cold. Oh, yeah. It was yeah. like drive to set and it was like this whole like fog. It, it, it's really spooky and it's a bunch of these beautiful cemeteries. In fact, we use most of our acting chops to try to look warm. Really? Yeah. 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 Well, that's usually, what act, that's usually what acting is. Yeah. Look warm when it's cold and cold when it's warm. <laughs> I love that you said there were a lot of beautiful cemeteries. I mean, that just lends itself. But they are. To They're mm -hmm. old and beautiful. And we were 10 minutes from uh, Walden Pond and Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. We, were, we were shooting around Concord, Massachusetts, and it was just amazing. Do you enjoy scaring the crap out of people? It's fun to be <laughs> <laughs> in, like, to watch with an audience to get a real vocal, like, visceral reaction out of people. Yeah, I think that's fun. But yeah. you, it's a cheat because you don't do it. I mean, you shoot it and then eight months later, people get scared. <laughs> yeah. They see it and they're like, long, well, Yeah, it's a yeah. long payoff. Like, maybe if you're doing a terrifying sitcom. Yeah, yeah, maybe. You can see that it's <laughs> Yeah. Or a play. A horror play. You did a terrifying a sitcom play. about marriage. I mean, it was just how terrifying married life can be. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I see what you, yeah. Uh, Bill, I want to ask you, going from it and doing this, I mean, do you ever just want to do some happy stuff? Yeah. <laughs> happy? I'm happy. Yeah. You're a happy, fun no, person. No, yeah, yeah. No, it's it's. I don't know. Yeah, it's just happened this way. But it's. I like I like dark stories, dark mm -hmm. characters. It's fun. Um, I don't like doing s s the same thing over and over again. So, yeah, I'll do a I'll do a happy rom com next. I think. What can you tell us about the uh, new it sequel? And I can tell you that we're shooting it. It we're shooting it. It. Yeah, in Toronto, and it's it's, it's going well. You know, yeah. it's good, obviously an amazing new cast with the, you know, all the kids are adults and, uh, um, yeah, it's going, it's going well. It's going I'm excited fun. to see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, thanks. Was it kind of, you know, you look at it, how it, it took off and, and people now, when you go out, are they like Pennywise? Do they, do they ever recognize, do they recognize you? Yeah. 
Yeah, I think people are, some people are aware. People are guy. screaming his name outside, <laughs> by oh, the way. Are they? Were they just yeah. going? Yeah, he's like, some people are aware. I'm not trying to do your accent. I know you're not good at it, but... Some people are aware. He has a perfect New Zealand accent. Yes, yes, yes. Have you guys been to Comic-Con before? Who's been to Comic-Con before? Has, who's been to Comic -Con before? I've what been. Did, and what's the experience been like? Um, horror fans are really enthusiastic fans, so it's nice. I mean, all you want is for people to watch your work and then respond, and people definitely respond to Comic-Con. Yeah, is this your first time? It's my first time as, like in a professional capacity. I've been as a plus one before. Oh, okay, I thought you were yeah. saying you, you've come as dressed <laughs> before. I was <laughs> no, like, you... that's, yeah, that's what it sounds like. No, I've come with my fiance and like supported him. Ah, uh, yeah. Sissy, have you been, you've been here before. I've never been no, here come before. On. I'm stunned at Comic-Con. What has not really? No, okay. The, she's right. The fans are just really there for you. It's great. They seem so excited. There must be a bunch and of carries walking around, yeah. Well, there's yeah. got to be a few Pennywise oh, too, right? Yeah, I think so. Have you seen a few? I have not seen anyone with my own eyes, but I've, I've seen pictures. You see, they're out there. They're out there. I want to get like a mask and just walk around. I think. Are you guys? Planning on doing that? Should we do that? <laughs> no. <laughs> you get four I mean, masks. I mean, I'll do that if you want to do that. Yeah, is that fun, right? Sure. I don't think I need a mask. I'm pretty <laughs> anonymous no, here. No, people would know. I think I'm fine. People would know who you are. If I stay close to Bill, then it's I'm invisible. <laughs> that's just stop it. Stop it. You have a medical condition in this in Castle Rock. No, no, no. It's like so personal. You have a medical condition. You want to you want to elaborate a little on that? Um. Yes. What yeah. can you tell us about it? Well, it's kind of a medical condition. It's kind of a psychic affliction. It's kind of a curse. It's kind of a blessing. It's something that sort of takes over it's every... It's kind of the shine. It's, well, you can get in trouble. You talk about it if you want. <laughs> I'm terrified. <laughs> and then your character is obsessed with all things bad, correct? Yeah. What can you tell us about your character? Um, <laughs> my character is... Uh, yeah, really fascinated and obsessed with, fascinated by, obsessed with uh, the macabre. horror, the macabre. macabre. And um, she, I, I was describing her before, like she's like the fans here. She's like a fan girl. And mm -hmm. uh, she's grown up in Castle Rock and when Henry Deaver arrives, she's grown up like hearing the legend of Henry Deaver and she's like, oh hell yes, let's go. This is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> And then she catches wind of the man, the kid found in the basement of Shawshank or the oil container mm -hmm. of Shawshank. Mm -hmm. She's like really excited and is just trying to find out as much information as she can. She's and, our little freak. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how cool was it weaving Shawshank in there? Because of course when people see Shawshank, they go, they go crazy. It was fun kind of weaving that whole thing in, in that story and that making it part yeah, of the story. Yeah, it was great. Long. And we shot at um, this amazing prison uh, and uh, in West Virginia, West Virginia Penitentiary, I think it's called, um, and which is also haunted. That's what I say. I've seen that on one of those shows. Yeah, right? yeah, and it's uh, and it's uh, it's like this beautiful Gothic um, architecture, and uh, that was because it's you just see it in the first episode. Like some of the interiors are studio, but all the exteriors and. Uh, is, is, is uh, some of the interiors as, as well. I think we shot at the actual prison, but um, we shot it like, you know, for production reasons, like at, during block five or something, episode five or episode mm -hmm. four. Um, but it was great being in there because, like, as an actor, at least, like being in the real place. It just, it, it, it was a really spooky vibe there. Mm. Um, they used to do. There was like hundreds of executions that took place at that prison oh, yeah. and they God. used to do public executions <gasps> where people could just show up and they hanged somebody and their head flew off and they were like never mind they're not public anymore yeah That's like the the, he was like me. bottom heavy so the, so Is he was a okay big guy so, so <laughs> and his as he was oh hanged and his head popped off um, so when you're in your trailer, are you like you always want someone with you, or was it like ever spooky? No, 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 no. I took care of. Him. Did you take care of? Him? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You weren't even there, were you? No, I wasn't even there. <laughs> so I want to ask you about homecoming. Hey, you played Julia Roberts' mom, right? Yeah. Like, how is? Tell me a little about that. It's gonna be great. Yeah. <laughs> I I really I can't 
I don't know what I can say about that. I don't think I can so tell you anything here, about it. But yeah. she's wonderful, and mm -hmm. it's a wonderful cast. I have a really small role. You'll just like that. Come on. And then, Bill, um, your brother's worked with Meryl Streep. Your dad. Um, do you think you'll ever get a chance to work with Meryl Streep? With Meryl? Yeah. I mean, no. do, you feel like, do you feel left out that you, know, you haven't of had Of course. Yeah. Yeah, no, of course. I, like, my, my dad was just like, apparently, because they were doing press for Mamma Mia, and Meryl walked up to him and was like, oh, I work with Alex. He's such an amazing actor. I think that my dad was really proud that Meryl Streep said that, that his son was an incredible actor. I mean, yeah, she's a legend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll get your turn, right? Yeah. yeah. Call me. Meryl. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell her. Can tell her. Call me, Meryl. Meryl, yeah, call her. No. Call me. Call me. Um, Sissy, if you guys... Did you have a chance to talk with, uh, and, or did, you know, you, you read the Steven stuff, but, I mean, has Steven seen all this? Has he, has he seen what you You know, done? I don't know if he's seen it. Have you had a chance to talk to him? No, yeah. not at all. No. But you know who would know? Sam or, or Dusty would know, the creators of the show. Mm -hmm. I, I think maybe he saw the first episode. I think he's seen all of it. Really? I, that's what I've heard. Let's call him. I thought, <laughs> Let's I call thought him you now. saw all call of it. Right really? And you what did he say? You called Meryl Streep. Oh. It's like, give thumbs up. Yeah, I think he's found. All right, well, uh, I'm sure he's seen it. All right, we got to let you guys go. Are you, do they need to take a picture of, oh, in the green screen? Oh, if you want to, you can take a picture in our green screen area. We have a green screen. Do you think I'll disappear if I go on the green screen? Actually, it would be great yeah, that you would go over there and take a picture. Actually, that would be the picture of the day. If you would go over and take a picture on our green screen. It's very cold. Do you think so? Yeah, Thank you. We have a strategic.